going to drink this in. I started this weird thing. I started doing a vision board. No, Sarah, don't. I did. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> A vision board is when you take all of your hopes and dreams and goals and you make them come true through the power of collage. <laughs> oh my God, did I find my people tonight? <laughs> Cutting and pasting, <laughs> having a time. Um, so for example, let's say you cut out a picture of a red hat because you're like, oh my God, I love this red hat. I love the freedom it represents to me. I can totally see it in my future. You put it on your vision board. One day you wake up and you're like, oh my God, I'm wearing the red hat. <laughs> like it's really neat, but you have to really concentrate on it because apparently every detail can come true. Um, the only problem is you have to keep it like well displayed in your home, like your living room or your kitchen. <laughs> So if you have a significant other, they might just go ahead and leave you. So make sure you save a spot for them on the board. Um, anyway, so I was working my vision board and I took a step back and I looked at it and I was like, what? That's weird. I just have so many pictures of luxury bathrooms. <laughs> what, what does that mean? And my friend was like, honestly, Sarah, you could, you could have that exact luxury bathroom, like down to the very last detail. But I'm like, that one? She's like, yeah, I'm like, that one? It was like, honestly, the craziest bathroom I've ever seen. It was like a corridor of vanity mirrors. It was like so intense, like a million mirrors, a million angles, so much gold. I'm like, that's crazy. Cause I would still have my shitty apartment, but the most elaborate bathroom of all time. <laughs> you come over and I'm like, please use the washroom. <laughs> and you're like, all right. So you go in, you're like, oh my God, look at all these mirrors. Look at all these different angles. Sarah's so obsessed with herself and she for sure does cocaine. <laughs> so basically I become an overnight sensation. I just don't think I can commit to that vision. You know what I mean? So many angles, what? That's crazy. Cause you know, you know, you see uh, you have a good angle, you have a bad angle, you have a weird angle. And then I look over, I'd be like in that angle, I'm just always holding a burrito for some reason. <laughs> Locked and loaded <laughs> till the end of time. So um, there's a lot of pressure for women to be sexy all the time. You know what I mean? Like I watched the most sensual maxi pad commercial the other day and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, I'll never be that sexy. You know what I mean? I'll never have a heavy flow like that. <laughs> Look at this woman. You think, you think I could? I love how much you believe in me. You know, and I just, I just couldn't believe it. I, I, and I was thinking, so many people want, want to be sexy and they can't, and, and, or they can, but they don't know. It's always, even you could be the most successful person in the world. You could be like the best brain surgeon of all time. You know, and there she is just working away on her brain. And then all of a sudden she's like, I'm not sexy enough, you know? <laughs> and then the patient's like, oh, come on, man, you look great. <laughs> what are you, nuts? You look what you're doing brain surgery, man. You got it all together. Is my brain hanging out of my head? Anyways, so having this moment where I was like standing on the corner being like, I don't know how I feel about my body and myself. And then out of nowhere, I just noticed this old man staring at me through a sports bar window. And he's just like, ah, 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 ah. Like I was a windowsill pie. And I was like, you know what? We're all sexy enough. We all still got it. Cause this guy doesn't care about commercials and advertisements, no. He's just looking out in the world and he's seeing shapes. <laughs> and we're all comprised of sexy shapes, guys. We're gonna be okay. So I'm, um, I'm a bit of a dense gal. Just try to knock me over. Um, what can I say? I'm what your grandma would call a good eater, guys. I'm the kind of friend you call up if you have to move, you know what I mean? And I come over and I just like pick up an entire couch and they're like, whoa, 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 two people need to carry that. And I'm like, oh, I got it. You're paying us some pizza, right? And you're like, yeah, you'll get your meal. <laughs> like I got these childbearing hips and my body is all like, have a baby. But my brain is like, you don't know me, body. Get out of my room, slam. Turn up the music. No one understands me. I just don't think this body of mine was made for this day and age. I think this bod would do much better and really flourish like in an olden time. 
You know, I picture myself doing really well in like, let's say the war of 1812. <laughs> My husband is off at battle and there I am, just tilling a field, pregnant as fuck. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, what's that? I see enemies coming over the horizon. I'm just like, I'm ready for this moment. And I run over and I just like start loading up muskets. I'm like, musket, musket, musket. Whoa, my water broke. And then I'm like, labor, labor, musket, musket, labor, musket, musket. One comes out, wow. Oh no, here comes another. Wow, here comes another. And I'm like, musket, musket. There's too many enemies. So then I'm just running through a field of fire. And then I just start digging a trench and watching all of them run by. Um, so that's my body type, is what I'm saying. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying if there's a fire tonight, hop on, we'll be fine. Mwah. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great